I'm honored to be here today as a legislator, but also honored to be here as a member of the Apple Historical Society and currently the president of the Apple Historical Society. We spent a great deal of time looking through our collections and just recently in the last few years we found a letter and I'd like to share a few parts of the letter. It was written by Captain C.H. Cook Jr. on 7 July 1943 to his five-year-old son. And he said, Dear Sandy, well son, this must be a big day in your young life. You are five years old and your old man is sorry he can't be with you to celebrate this event. You know you are the man of the house, Sandy, and at five years of age, you are old enough to start taking care of your mother when I'm not home. You must be good to her and do what she says because that makes her happy. When you are six years old, son, I hope to be home with you. If I am not, I hope you will always remember that there are millions of us fathers who are here in the Army fighting just so their little boys like you can always have birthdays and celebrate them as you wish. Always remember that, son. And remember we do these things not because we want to, but because it is our duty and our privilege to fight for our country. One of the finest things about our country is that in time of war, there are always men who are willing to fight for it. We have never started a war, son, but we've always won them. Lastly, Sandy, there may be times when you're afraid, but if you think about it, the fear becomes far worse. You need never be ashamed of being afraid, Sandy, as long as you do your work despite the fear. It is only cowards who let fear keep them from doing what they know is right. Next year, Sandy, you'll be starting school. So have a good time this year and play while you can. Keep your fingers crossed for me and remember that you have made me proud and happy ever since the day of your birth on July 7th. On July 7th. Love your dad. Captain Cook was killed in action four days after reading this, writing this letter and the notice from the War Department of his death came before the letter actually made it to his son's hands. Today I ask you all, as we have this psalmful day of remembrance, that you remember Captain Cook and all of those who have given the ultimate sacrifice for this country. Thank you.